there at 5.30, a close call for a Groton man as a wrong-way driver speeds right past him on I-93. New Hampshire State Police arrested that driver, a woman from Lowell, before anyone got hurt, fortunately. Thanks for staying with us. I'm David Wade. And I'm Courtney Cole. Troopers say last night that 49-year-old Deirdre Massey was driving drunk when she was headed north in the southbound lanes of 93. As WBZ's Laura Hayfley shows us, the man who saw her is just grateful he's still alive. In the blink of an eye. What the f was that? A simple drive home could have ended in death. My wife would be planning a funeral today. Max Collins was driving on I-93 South from his hockey league in Salem, New Hampshire to his house in Groton when a car driving the wrong way narrowly missed him. I could have died. Only seconds sooner, Collins happened to switch lanes, a decision that likely saved his life. And I've been kind of thinking about that all day. The what if. Absolutely. It's been eating me up all day. Haven't really uh, slept much. For Destiny to kind of get you that close, it was really shocking. Seconds after the shock wore off, he called 911, but police were already on their way. Siri, call 911. Calling about the vehicle going on yes, yep. the southbound on 93 in Mathon. Yep, thank you. What the last location you saw that? Uh, mile marker 44.4. Experts say wrong way driving crashes are oftentimes fatal. According to AAA, since 2014, there have been more than 7,000 wrong way driving related crashes in Massachusetts. In 2024, so far, 597. Experts blame two major factors. One that comes up in, in a lot of different crash patterns is distraction. Drivers are distracted and potentially miss where it is that they're supposed to be or focused on something else. The other is oftentimes uh, impairment. UMass professor Mike Nodler is the director of the school's transportation center. There's a lot of different things that are, are being done to combat wrong-way driving. Mass DOTs installed 16 wrong-way vehicle detection systems at various ramps across the state and launched an effort to review all ramps that could be accessed in the wrong direction, an initiative Collins hopes makes an impact. All the holidays coming up, I'm glad I'm going to be there for that, and I think I'm going to enjoy it a little bit more because uh, I knew how quickly it, it could have been over. Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.